Hey there, happy Friday. Happy July for that matter. This is Brian Mudd. It's my cheat sheet for Friday, July 1st. Brand new Prius. It's coming. It's going to be on its way this fall, and it's going to look a lot more like a station wagon than a Prius. Or like a Prius wagon or something. Anyway, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be able to hold a lot more than the original models, which were reasonably spacious uh, for the hybrid cars. The gas mileage is still going to be about the same, average around 50 miles a gallon. So with more space, that might be a pretty good deal. If you want more information about that, if you're on my page, just click on the link below. You'll get to see pictures and get all the specs about the car. If you're on YouTube, then go to WJNO.com and click on my page. All right, so Sonic and Burger King are turning to booze. This is no joke. We're talking beer and wine. They're not going for the full liquor licenses, at least not yet. Uh, but Sonic in particular is going to start with a couple restaurants. They happen to be in South Florida, uh, so this could be interesting. And as with all new ideas... If it works, it'll stick. If it sticks, that could be the new trend. Booze with your burgers. All right, so smartphones. Uh, I've been talking about for a couple of years how whether you own one or not, the time will come when you will own one. And that time seems to be here now. For the first time ever, we have a full quarter, uh, the second quarter, in which smartphones sold more total units than traditional cell phones. So we, not only is more than half the marketplace in terms of the uh, number of phones out there, smartphones, but now we're actually seeing them outsell their less expensive and less te technologically advanced counterparts. The economics of uh, tax increases, this has come up quite a bit recently as uh, the president has been proposing tax increases, uh, broke down some of the numbers yesterday. Uh, if there were the repealing of the tax breaks, as the president calls them, uh, for wealthier individuals, corporations, and the like, uh, the economics of it uh, are in the most optimistic way. It would raise about $400 billion over the course of the next 10 years. Obviously, that's a, a small part of the overall uh, $14 trillion problem. So one has to sit there and weigh the economic benefits of raising taxes in a down economy, especially with a lot of businesses and, and wealthier individuals that hire Americans versus the possible potential savings. Also, with regard to that, that particular comment about corporate jet owners, well, over the course of maybe 20 years, that could save up to $3 billion. So it does appear that it's more political rhetoric than anything that's really going to help us short term in our budget woes. Samsung is going after Apple. Get this one. If Samsung were to win the lawsuit it filed yesterday, Apple would no longer be able to sell any of its products in the United States. Now, the lawsuits are nothing new. Apple and Samsung have been going around in circles with each other for years now over these patent protection suits. And occasionally, Apple will even settle some just to kind of make them go away. The one yesterday, though, was the uh, most thorough that's ever been filed against them, where Samsung is, is uh, trying to cite trademark infringement, saying that Apple is illegally selling its products. Now, I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I think Samsung loses this core challenge. I think they're doing it just to get under Apple's skin more than anything else. But if by some chance they were to win, Apple would no longer have any U.S.-based business. Kind of a crazy thought. In state tax revenue, this is uh, actually a ray of decent light here. Now, earlier in the year, we saw a new trend, which was increasing state and local revenue, in part because more people are going back to work, and we are actually seeing an increase in uh, total uh, income in this country as well, even if it's small. Good news on the state uh, level, we saw revenues climb by 4.7% in the first quarter. And so this is certainly good news as we head towards the second half of the year. If we can see any uptick at all in the economy, a lot of the state budget woes around the country might be able to help get solved just by a better state and local economy. Living Social, they're going to try to do what many of their other counterparts like LinkedIn, for example, have been doing in Groupon. They want to go IPO. They want to go public. And the rumored price for Living Social 15 Bs. That's right, $15 billion. Be interesting to see if that's what they get. So that's my cheat sheet for today. I'm on vacation. Videos from the road next week. Have a great day.